And hello people, welcome to a new series that I'm going to start on my own because Derek seems to have uh, fallen off the face of, his earth, face of the earth because his computer kind of gone to shit, but I got bored and I figured I'd try start trying some solo commentary and what game's better than that than Terraria. I chose this game mainly also because for some reason my computer doesn't like recording anything else. It seems to lag in the recording, but it doesn't lag when I'm actually playing. Come at you! And I haven't quite figured that problem out yet, but I'm hoping to start recording some Minecraft as soon as I can. But what better to do, instead of playing actual Minecraft, than play the 2D version. So as always, in most games like this, you want to start off with wood. We're going to try to get a steady structure built right away and survive the night. Bunny! We have to kill every bunny we see. It just has to happen. There's no way around it. Wait. Yes. We're up to one. I'm going to need a kill counter. got to figure out how to edit that in. Just put a kill counter up in the top corner. It shows just a bunny head with a number in it. God, I wish I had editing software. And... We're gonna- I'm gonna make these videos in kind of progressions. Couple- oh no. Oh no, that's not what we want right now. Just- just stay over there. It seems as though we spawn directly next to some corruption. Oh, we're so fucked. Stay back, vile beast! Hungard! Don't- don't worry. It's okay. I'm pushing it back, I'm pushing it back. This beast is dead to me. Oh fuck, I am so close to death. So because obviously we have corruption that way, I think we're gonna move this way just a, just a smidge. Look, a cave. We're not gonna explore. House is always first priority. And... Because I really don't see anywhere else that really... It's a good house. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna grow a pair and go live next to the corruption. Because why not, right? It just seems like there's nothing wrong with that. So, let's go back. I like to build on flat land as well, so I'm gonna try to flatten out some land right here really quick. We want this gone. We gotta hurry though, it's already halfway through the day. Funny! Dun 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 dun! Quick, run away. Before more spawn. I think right here's a good suitable place for a house. We're gonna go ahead and take out this tree, methinks. The more wood, the better. I'm really happy we spawned in this heavy of a our tall tree forest type area because it's actually kind of rare from my experience in Terraria. And he's <gasps> another bunny. Dun 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 dun. We're up to three guys. One episode alone. We're getting somewhere in life. I don't know why it's just so satisfying to kill them, but wait till you get the stronger weapons, and then you hit them, and then they go flying, and it's just entertaining. I think this is going to be one of the first 30 minute episodes or so I've loaded, I've uploaded in a long time. And I know I'm kind of struggling for content, like uploading. I have a lot in reserves, but I've just been slow to upload because it destroys my computer. And yes, I see the bunny, but this dirt is blocking me from it. up to four. I think they're going to keep spawning just right there, and I'm just going to keep getting lucky. And we're just going to have to keep doing something about them over and over again. Because we can. Because wood looks so nice, I think this house is going to be built out of a, a wood frame, and, and because I don't really have any more materials right now, 
think we're just gonna go with basic wood all around, one room style area. So... Okay, I can build through that. Sometimes I won't let you build through, like, the tree. And... That always saddens me. Quick, quick, trap the guide, trap the guide, trap the guide. And I like to build elaborate structures as well in Terraria for some reason. I haven't really figured out why, but sometimes I will end up building off camera because the builds I do will take me a couple hours. I mean, I can record it, but I'm not going to be really talking because whenever I'm doing that kind of thing, it's like pure concentration almost. But for now, I think we built ourselves a good little Hubble. It's not made out of dirt, so we're obviously doing something proper here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna do wood floors too, because just why not? I think later we'll upgrade to stone bricks, but I intend to have a different house. This is just a little makeshift thing, so that way we can get the guide in here and a merchant. And yes, I have played my fair share of this. There's some things, I've, obviously, I'm not gonna know right offhand, but... I, I know this game pretty well. I've put in probably close to almost 200 hours, according to Steam. Okay. And... Crafting table. Shut up, I know it's a bench, but because we want to, we're gonna call it a table. And it sucks if you want to call it something else. Me and my crafting table. And you know what? We're going to have a chair. Because we can. Because we're rich in wood. But we need a mallet now. Because we need to get rid of this wooden background. Or not wooden, sorry. Dirt background. The guy needs to hurry up and move in here too, so I gotta quick make him a room, otherwise he's not gonna survive the night. Okay, we're up to four bunnies, gotta remember that. I'm gonna figure out how to make a kill counter. Edit it in my videos. I hope the guy's gonna die. That slime's just gonna kill him. We need gel anyways, so let's go get the slime. Have at thee, foul beast! Oh. Damn it, that's not gonna work. Okay. We're gonna, I think, just do a wooden background for now. And after we get our house built, at least with a couple rooms, fit to how the game's gonna let the people spawn it, then we're going to start making a mega mine shafts directly to hell. Because that's what everybody needs in their life. And if you're new to this game and whatnot, just kind of learning, you'll, I'll try to explain in due time, but basically when I say hell, it means the bottom of the earth because that's basically what you're doing. You end up going to hell, basically. It's a lava filled location. It's full of just like burnt city or burnt towers, tra hidden treasure chests. A special kind of ore you can only get in that one area. And things along that line. And there's demons and hell bats, and there's even a boss down there that we're gonna fight solo later in life. But obviously, we're not geared to fight any boss right now. We're just starting. Needing to get our shelter up and running. to get it all nice and wooded up in the background. It looks like I built it one too high out of reach, so I think we can make this two separate floors. And yes, in this game, bigger is always better because you can defend it a lot easier when you have things like goblin armies come up or blood moons. I'll show you why in due time when, when we get our own blood moon or goblin army. But that's not till the later episodes. Oh no. Ah, we ran out. Damn. Make some all. Oh, we need torches, actually, before we do anything. We need to litter the whole wall with torches, just 
so that way, what's his name? Ryan. So that way Ryan doesn't feel so, so cold on the inside. He likes a lit house, I'm told. Yeah. No, oh, I tried to make him symmetrical. You see how that works. So we're just gonna do this. There we go. Can't go wrong with <gasps> Bunny. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Yeah, you can't go wrong with just littering the whole wall with nothing but torches. I mean, come on. Or torches. Oh, we got a slime over there, and I need more gel. I'm gonna let him in. Come here, slimey. Come here. Come on. Get in here. On guard. Look. Now poor Ryan doesn't feel so dark on the inside. I think I'm gonna block him in here really quick. We're gonna let that slime come through the door though and trap it. Come on. There we go. See, so yeah, I would keep this as a pet, but I know it's gonna despawn in any case. And I don't... I gotta get my priorities in straight. What we want to do after we get our house built. I think a mine shaft for resources is gonna be our biggest priority, which that's gonna be by far the most time-consuming thing I'm probably gonna do. Another bunny! Quick. Go get it. Ah, oh, damn it, I let Ryan out. Quick, get inside, Ryan. It's dark. But Ryan... He doesn't love me anymore. <sighs> There's a bunny on the other side. Bunny, 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 bunny! Guys, we're up to six bunnies once I kill this bunny. You guys just witnessed the murder of bunny number six. And you're gonna keep quiet about it, ain't ya? I would assume so. Ryan! There's a zombie! Ryan, get inside! Oh, Ryan. Me and Zambies ain't friends, okay? Watch this help them disintegrate and he explodes. Get in here. Oh, there's a star. We need that. <gasps> bunny! Oh, he killed the bunny. That one doesn't count for me. Another creature cannot kill my bunnies. That's just not okay. Man, why has he got to intrude on my bunny? So that was bunny number seven in one episode. I mean, come on. I'm going to have to keep track of bunny slaughters. You're going to have to check the description for now until I can get a kill counter. I'll keep track of it in the description, hopefully. Bunny! Dun 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 dun. Yes. Uh, this is... A very time-consuming part of the house building process. This was one of the worst things about this game was actually building up the layers. The background was by far just took very long. Oh, they didn't want me to place those. Oh, there's another zombie. It's coming to eat my brain. Don't worry, zombie. I'm not here. I don't exist. Figment of your imagination. He listened and believed it. Alright, we'll clean up that roof in a little bit. But not while there's a zombie in my house. Silly zombie, I'm not up there anymore. Fuck, they do so much damage when you don't have armor. Okay, we need up. We need to just do this from the roof. It's gonna be the easiest way to do this, just all the way across. And then, while we're up here, one torch. And then I'll take the hammer to the wood wall that pokes up to the top. Oh, we might get hit by a shooting star. Dang it. Never mind. 
Where is it though? There it is. Yeah, I did get the other one. I was gonna say that's weird. It landed in the same place. Bird. Wow. Didn't get the birdie. Okay. Well, I think now it's time to start building some uh, rooms. I think. Obviously, we're gonna have this here bottom room. Just one solid floor all the way across, so that way we have somewhere where we can construct and whatnot. But we are going to put... Oh yeah, that's a zombie. I had to be sure it wasn't a bunny. That's dead center. It looks pretty dead center. I'm very OCD when it comes to these games, and it has to be almost perfect. Otherwise, I'm like having a panic attack. Like the whole time. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those are wide enough though. Fancy little tip if you hit right here and you hit. Oh. Oh, it's because I haven't sectioned it off yet. Never mind. But if we put a door and some tables on there, it should tell us if it's suitable. Once we put a table and two chairs in there, so one, two. Is this how you get all this wood at the beginning? That zombie's gonna drive me fucking insane. One second, guys. Hunt guard, oh, beast. Oh, got an itch, got an itch, got an itch, got an itch, itch, itch. Die, foul beast. Yes. Oh. 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 Okay. So. Yeah, that's why you get all that wood at the early beginning, because then you can do things like this. Just one table. The chairs will be put down in the direction that you're facing, so just get as close to the other table as you can. And now if we click on this, see it says it's suitable, and we're going to go ahead and just plop the guide up there. Don't go open up the door, you dumbass. See, this is why he needs to get in his own home already. Die, foul bitch! Oh, you god damn it. He's gonna be the death of me, I swear. That's why he gets his own little balcony later in life, where he can just walk in and out of the door. They don't have to worry about zombies coming in, they don't have to worry about people. He can just walk in and out of his door all day. Oh, I wish I had some copper right now, that would make this perfect. I think directly next to us, over in this area, we're gonna put a mega mine shaft. But for right now, guys, I think that's an episode. Uh, once we get, you know, the star. Okay, guys, so. That would be an episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all next time.